of all ages, including adult leagues, high school leagues, and kids. Complete with professional-looking graphics, broadcasters, color analysis, and commercials. We do pre- and post-game interviews with the players. In addition, Sports Broadcast Solutions does highlight films, including college recruiting reels, highlight films you'd see on sports news programs, and just simply highlight films for fun. Sports Broadcast Solutions also provides raw footage and live streams if you'd like. Subscribe to us and listen to our professional talk videos about relevant topics in the pro and college ranks. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, contact us at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital world. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre- and post-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so I think that's what got us going. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary. A no-hitter at Kane County Stadium. 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. Tonight. That time, finally a goal for the Stampede! We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts and play-by-play -play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. Plus, we do pre-game and post-game interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the post-game show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith, but my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. 
Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. My teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. Other team slashed me, took the opportunity, saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense, and Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway, a 2 on 0 A shot, and his goal! So, 3-3, three to three. the power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics, and we have watermarks. Finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play -play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, we also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Livestream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. We broadcast sporting events for people of all ages, including adult leagues, high school leagues, and kids. Complete with professional-looking graphics, broadcasters, color analysis, and commercials. We do pre- and post-game interviews with the players. In addition, Sports Broadcast Solutions does highlight films, including college recruiting reels, highlight films you'd see on sports news programs, and just simply highlight films for fun. Sports Broadcast Solutions also provides raw footage and live streams if you'd like. Subscribe to us and listen to our professional talk videos about relevant topics in the pro and college ranks. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, contact us at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital world. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world.
Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre- and post-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so... I think that's what got us going. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play commentary. A no-hitter at Kane County Stadium. 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. That time, finally a goal for the Stampede! We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts, and play-by-play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. Plus, we do pre-game and post-game interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the post-game show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith. But my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. My teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. Other team slashed me, took the opportunity. Saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense. And Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway, a 2 on 0 A shot, and his goal! So, 3-3. Three to three. The power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics, and we have watermarks. Finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, 
We also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Livestream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. We broadcast sporting events for people of all ages, including adult leagues, high school leagues, and kids. Complete with professional-looking graphics, broadcasters, color analysis, and commercials. We do pre- and post-game interviews with the players. In addition, Sports Broadcast Solutions does highlight films, including college recruiting reels, highlight films you'd see on sports news programs, and just simply highlight films for fun. Sports Broadcast Solutions also provides raw footage and live streams if you'd like. Subscribe to us and listen to our professional talk videos about relevant topics in the pro and college ranks. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, contact us at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital world. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre- and post-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so I think that's what got us going. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary, a no hitter at Kane County Stadium. Welcome to the show brought to you by Sports Broadcast Solutions. My name is Austin Wright, and alongside me is Justin Milovanov and Tristan Sandy of Springfield Athletic Soccer Club. Today we've got a very exciting match for USL League Two play as Springfield Athletic Soccer Club comes to visit Chicago City SC here in Lions for Hope Sports Complex. And, and Justin, just give me a few of your thoughts about how you're feeling about this upcoming season as you all have done a rebrand over the off season and got a lot of new players coming in. How are you, what are your feelings for this yeah, season? Yeah, I'm just super excited. Can't wait to just start playing with this new team. Love the group of guys. We're all gelling super, super well. The chemistry is super high. So yeah, I'm just super excited. And so what are some of the key aspects that we should know uh, going forward for some of your teams and as well as some of the players that we should look out for for tonight's match? I mean, obviously we have a great group of guys who are going to bring all their talents from very diverse areas of the world. So I just think you're going to see a blend, a combination of many talents from around the world. Gotcha. And so then in that case, Tristan, I have a couple questions for you though, as the captain for tonight. What are some of your expectations for this team and what have you seen as you guys have been getting ready for this upcoming season? Uh, well, every session, everyone brings 110%. Everyone's excited to work. Tonight's game, I expect that exact effort and level of quality to transfer into the game tonight. 
Absolutely. And so last season, Chicago City SC won three straight games against Springfield ASC. How are you guys feeling about trying to overcome some of those odds of being swept last year in the regular season? What are you guys trying to do that changed in this offseason to prepare? Well, it was a whole uh, tactic rebrand. There is um, obviously new players, as we discussed already, and there's a new mindset coming into the season. So that's what we're going to bring to the table, and we'll for sure get results that way. That sounds good. Well, thank you guys again for joining us for the pregame. And as well, we have the play-by-play -play broadcast coming up soon, brought to you by Sports Broadcast Solutions. include pre and post game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room, all the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so I think that's what got us going. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary. A no-hitter at Kane County Stadium. 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. Tonight. That time, finally a goal for the Stampede! We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts, and play-by-play -play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. 
Plus, we do pregame and postgame interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the postgame show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith. But my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. The other team slashed me, took the opportunity, saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense, and Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway, a 2 on 0. A shot, and his goal! So, 3-3. Three to three. The power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics, and we have watermarks. Finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play -play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, we also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Livestream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. We broadcast sporting events for people of all ages, including adult leagues, high school leagues, and kids. Complete with professional-looking graphics, broadcasters, color analysis, and commercials. We do pre- and post-game interviews with the players. In addition, Sports Broadcast Solutions does highlight films, including college recruiting reels, highlight films you'd see on sports news programs, and just simply highlight films for fun. Sports Broadcast Solutions also provides raw footage and live streams if you'd like. Subscribe to us and listen to our professional talk videos about relevant topics in the pro and college ranks. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, contact us at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital world. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world.
I'm Leroy. I'm a uh, U.S. Army veteran. I coach because I like to teach the kids about being a member of a team and uh, being being energized and having fun. I love coaching with I-9 Sports because uh, they're about having fun. They teach the kids about safety and about getting out and enjoying themselves. Coaching is inspiration. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre- and post-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so I think that's what got us going. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary. A no-hitter at Kane County Stadium. 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. That time, finally a goal for the Stampede! We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts, and play-by-play -play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. Plus, we do pre-game and post-game interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the post-game show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith. But my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. Other teams slashed me, took the opportunity. Saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense. And Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway, a 2 on 0. A shot, and his goal! So, 3-3. Three to three. The power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, 
SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics, and we have watermarks. Finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play -play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, we also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Livestream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. We broadcast sporting events for people of all ages, including adult leagues, high school leagues, and kids. Complete with professional-looking graphics, broadcasters, color analysis, and commercials. We do pre- and post-game interviews with the players. In addition, Sports Broadcast Solutions does highlight films, including college recruiting reels, highlight films you'd see on sports news programs, and just simply highlight films for fun. Sports Broadcast Solutions also provides raw footage and live streams if you'd like. Subscribe to us and listen to our professional talk videos about relevant topics in the pro and college ranks. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, contact us at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital world. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world. Welcome to the pregame show brought to you by Sports. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre- and post-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so I think that's what got us going. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. 
just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary. A no-hitter at Kane County Stadium. 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. Tonight, that time, finally a goal for the Stampede! We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts, and play-by-play -play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. Plus, we do pre-game and post-game interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the post-game show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith. Well, my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. The other team slashed me, took the opportunity. Saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense. And Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway at 2 on 0. A shot, and his goal! So, 3-3. Three three. The power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics, and we have watermarks. Finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play -play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, we also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Livestream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. We broadcast sporting events for people of all ages, including adult leagues, high school leagues, and kids. Complete with professional-looking graphics, broadcasters, color analysis, and commercials. We do pre- and post-game interviews with the players. In addition, Sports Broadcast Solutions does highlight films, including college recruiting reels, 
highlight films you'd see on sports news programs, and just simply highlight films for fun. Sports Broadcast Solutions also provides raw footage and live streams if you'd like. Subscribe to us and listen to our professional talk videos about relevant topics in the pro and college ranks. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, contact us at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital world. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world. Needed flatbed drivers for Step Deck in Conestoga with opportunity, direct deposit weekly, sign on bonuses, paid orientation and paid clean inspections, $2,000, $2,300 based on driver's performance, new equipment 2022 and 23 trucks and trailers, fast maintenance at our shop located at the yard, 24-7 assistance, weekly pay on direct deposit. Flexible home time, dedicated all year round projects, sign on bonus, $125 per month for one year plus one week paid vacation, travel and lodging provided during orientation and breakdown, earning on average from $85,000 to $100,000 per year gross, paid orientation $75 per day for qualified drivers, looking for a better job, Join us, C1 Transportation.
then once the USB in there, you eject it, give it to me, and I'll do the rest. I know it's like a huge overview. Yeah. Do your best. It's just something for you to, to do, put on your resume. And it's really important. Yeah. Like, I don't like anything with it. I'm supposed to be like a training for Good evening, yeah. soccer fans, right. and welcome. If for some reason you're having trouble with this, you can help Amber and Raphael with staff. Of your this is Chicago important, City Soccer Club. Important. Tonight, Chicago City SC welcomes their opponent, Springfield Athletic Soccer Club. Let's begin with tonight's stars for the visiting team, Springfield Athletic. At number one, Jonathan Villakis. Number four, Yusuf Al Shabasi. Number five, Javin Sutherland. Number six, Captain Tristan Sandy. Number seven, Stephen Brown. Number nine, Pharrell Phil. Number 10, Ronan Hutchins. Number 11, Justin Mulabana. Number 17, Daryl Longo. And number 18, Albert Miyamako. And number 19, Nico Vegavarola. And now, the starting 11 for your Chicago City SC. At goalkeeper, Andres Vasquez. At right back, number 15, Ernest Mensa Jr. At right center back, Lucas Ender. At number 17, Dylan Banker. At left back, number three, Julian Tesoro. In midfield, Axel Alejandre. Mark Bonaras. Number 10, Sammy Giraffe. And attacking, Cade Hagen, Murray Gunda, and Josh Torres. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another production of Sports Broadcast Solutions. Kyle Smith alongside Austin Wright for another production of SBS. And partner, it's a fun one. It's the Battle of Illinois Springfield Sporting Athletic Club against Chicago City SC. Chicago City SC looking to move up in the Heartland Conference. They absolutely are. Kyle, you know, Chicago City SC finished third in the division last year, hoping to get a little bit better going into this season as they do have a few different opponents and as well another rebranded one with Springfield ASC as they have changed their crest and colors now to a brown and orange look, reminiscent of the uh, Bowling Green University kind of colors, if you will. Out to midfield as Springfield will play it, stolen away by Shy City, now played by Cisneros. As he tries to go nutmeg style around Brown, ball loose, and it'll be a throw in for Shy City. So, right now, partner, it's a battle of the midfielders. It certainly is. A battle of midfield will absolutely be one of the biggest, most critical factors going into this match, as all of these different players have been preparing for this moment, coming from vastly different colleges around not only Chicago, but around Illinois and the Midwest. Out to the goalkeeper that time, and Vasquez is deep in their own territory, but quickly getting it out is. Shy City out to Sharaf, and now here come the forwards for Shy City. First time we've said their names today. Over to Torales, looking for the free kick. It's a late call, and the fans love it. Well, the Shy City fans love it, not so much the Springfield fans as a free kick coming up for Shy City. An absolutely momentous uh, occasion here for Shy City to actually be able to get in front and actually have an opportunity to set up a set piece for scoring here. This is certainly a moment that they need to strike and get these fans engaged even more early on here in this opening match. And did they say it was in the box? They did. PK coming up. How about that? Torellis looking to make it a very early 1-0 lead. All the pressure's on the goalkeeper here. Shot in the net! He goes to the left post, Austin. Beautiful goal. Absolutely marvelous shot there by Torellis to be able to fake out the goalkeeper going to the goalkeeper's left, shifting over to the left. Beautiful move by the Torellis there to actually get it in the back of the net, giving Chicago City SC the first lead of the year here at home. Not even two minutes into this match, Kyle. Wow, that was impressive indeed. And Shy City already up one nothing. Partner, you're not going to win many matches giving up PKs, so we'll see what adjustments that Springfield can make. The commute was long, I get it for Springfield, but you know what, you knew that going into the season it was gonna be a long commute, and uh, they're gonna have to adjust to this Lions for Hope Sports complex field. They certainly are, and a lot different than some of the other fields that they might be playing for later on in the season, as we have a beautiful field here for Lions for Hope, as it is a nice artificial turf field, 
fit not only for soccer, but even for rugby as well as right. uh, football here. It's Yeah, I mean, the rugby team here is called the Lions, so it's technically their home pitch, but it is shared with Shy City, among other high school and college teams. Vasquez cheats up, gets the ball, corrals it, and takes his time. A little underhand throw as Shy City taking their time from one defender to the other, gets it over to Banker, as Banker sets it over to the sideline, over to Cisneros. Looking that time for Torales and stolen away by Springfield. Good lead pass. Tap and go. Chance for Springfield. Shot wide. Good chance that time by Phils, but just a little wide, partner. It certainly was. A great opportunity there by Phils to actually get some momentum over towards the Springfield way. But, you know, just a little bit too much on the outside. He kind of chipped that ball too far on the inside to actually push it far. We should be able to turn the lights around 8 o'clock. But for now, they have a little bit on right now. They'll turn them up more as we get closer to 8. In the four minutes of the match with a 1-0 lead for Shy City. What an appropriate name, partner. We're in the city of Chicago, and that's the name of the team. It absolutely is a perfect name for this team as we have the Chicago skyline in our, towards our backs as well as the rest of the sprawling suburbs to the other side of the pitch here. But, okay. you know, Chicago City SC is really representing their town here. Over to Hagen on his right foot. Hagen. Sets it up to the middle. A lot of dribbling. Shot very wide. Partner, did you like that shot, or would you like to send a stop and start move and try to readjust, get it over to the left wing? You know, especially starting out so early on in this match, you would really expect Chicago to try and give as much pressure towards the Springfield goalie here. But, you know, it, it was certainly a great opportunity. Just shifted out a little too wide there. one nothing lead if you're just joining us. You should not have gotten your popcorn at the beginning of the match because you missed the PK, but that's okay. Hit the rewind button. You can watch as many times as you'd like. That was quick, partner. That was just in the box where the ref called it. Springfield not happy about it, but partner, like, if you get beat on the play, it's better to trust in your goalkeeper. When you commit the foul in the box, it's almost going to be a goal every time against your team. It certainly is. And having an opportunity to have a set piece goal right there through a penalty is certainly an amazing opportunity for Chicago City SC. And, you know, Torellis was able to get that great left strike over there towards the bottom of the net. Throw in coming up. These are some D1 soccer players, Austin. So I don't think we'll see it, but I wouldn't be shocked if you see that front flip throw in tonight. Yeah, you and I were talking about it during the uh, scrimmage for uh, for Chicago City SC earlier this week about the opportunity of players having a front flip throw in. But, you know, it's certainly not quite as likely as one might think it would be for uh, players of this caliber and this level. It, it's, you know, these players are still developing their skills, whether it be not only trying to create opportunities in the midfield, but, you know, striking against some of these quality goal keeps. Free kick past the 40 meter. Trying to get it through, but for naught, as great job deflecting it by Shy City. And now out to, it's going to be a goal kick coming up. Vasquez will take it. It was a nice free kick, but the wall was set up nicely by Shy City. It absolutely was. That was a great uh, set piece or set movement there by the Chicago City de defense there. And Ronan Hutchins' shot was just a little too wide. He put a little too much mustard on it to actually be able to find any room towards any of his other fellow players or even the back of the net. The text line's open. Your favorite high school, college, or MLS World Cup memory to 330-957-7653. All FCC regulations do apply. Nice header and... Here comes Shy City, led by Gonda. As Gonda kicks it back to midfield. And speaking of Merrick Gonda, he was a person of interest whenever they were playing Springfield last season, having two goals against Springfield ASC. Springfield ASC, they also go by the Monarchs. Besides that PK, Austin, it's been pretty even, but sometimes in soccer, one nothing could be the final. And it certainly can. And if that truly does end up being the lone goal for either side, it's absolutely an amazing uh, piece to have for Chicago City, as this really has been, to your point, a very uh, two-sided affair beyond just that one penalty. It's been pretty even. Uh, Springfield made their adjustments. Really, that was the only mistake that they made is the PK. Like I said, trust is a must. Your game is a bust. If you don't trust in your goalkeeper, you're bound for problems. You don't want to get beat. But if you get beat, sometimes it's better to allow that breakaway or to if you got beat and you have help coming from defense, the PK is just one thing you can't have on defense. Springfield did it, and Shy City capitalized. 
Exactly. It's those mental errors, especially considering it is the, only the beginning of the season, but having a mental error to have a penalty in the box, not only uh, two minutes into this match, it's certainly just a, a bit of a head scratcher for Springfield, right. but they are doing a great job of responding so far. I like the aggression. You're, you know, you're at midfield. You're not inside the 40 meter yet, so you try it. Hope the ref's not looking. You'd prefer on that slide tackle to get all ball and not leg first, but uh, ref saw it all the way. Free kick for Shine City as they get it past midfield. And you can certainly respect the Springfield ASC attack and trying to make as many movements against the ball in the midfield here so far in this match. As that yeah. ball goes far out there on the far side, it'll still be Shy City's ball. Torres will take it, getting it over to Alejandre. And now setting it up for Torales. Over to Cis Cisneros. Cisneros to Torales. And looks like he got a piece of the jersey, Austin. I'll let you call. Well, they call the free kick anyways, but looked like there should have been a free kick a couple seconds earlier. But actually, it's a blessing in disguise for Shy City because they get two more meters towards the goal. Exactly. It certainly is a blessing in disguise. And, you know, Cade Hagen was trying to make a move here on the near side to actually get some separation from the Springfield defense. But... He got some credit for it there, getting uh, a little separation, a little jersey tug. They were tugging at the jersey, and then he tried to beat him on the dribble. Deked him out, and then another uh, foul committed by Springfield. The Monarchs trailing by one. Shy City trying to take it to the visiting team. Way too much velocity on that. Partner, I'm not sure if it was a shot or a pass. Either way, it's a goal kick coming up for the Monarchs. Well, considering how much leg he put into that one, it certainly was looking like he was wanting to put that in the back of the net, but just didn't quite bend it enough. You know, it, it, either way, it was a beautiful looking shot, just a little too far to the wide right side. Just missed over to the sideline. It's played by two. Goal kick coming up. And this is interesting, partner. I don't know if the goalkeeper in Villicus is having some trouble with his legs, but we haven't seen a lot of punts from him today. He's having a defenders utilize and start the uh, goal kicks. Yeah, the, the, the bit of the short game tactics here by Springfield is, is interesting to say the least as they try and get any sort of positive momentum uh, over towards the Shy City side, but yeah. credit to the Lions here. They're they're really putting it to them and keeping it into the Springfield half of the field. Shy City trying to get it in deep. Springfield now on it. As it's played out to the defense of the Monarchs. Now to the 40 meter. Tapping it to himself at the sideline. Going after it is Cisneros. And it's stolen away now by Springfield. Brown will take it. Deflected pass. Kick straight up. And a throw-in coming up for the Monarchs. The men in the orange and brown trailing by one. And overall, some positive marks here for Springfield. Able to get at least a couple bits of pressure. But, you know, credit to Cisneros for traveling and chasing down that ball into the far corner and keeping it alive. Brown on the throw-in. Throw-in coming up as it'll be Brown again. Brown setting his feet well as Shy, Shy City was looking for a, uh, a free kick, but we play on at midfield, a header. And it's pushed forward by Shy City. On the attack goes Shy City. Gone to the guy to look out for, one of the taller men's on the pitch. As it's passed over to Alejandre, he'll set it up to his fellow midfielder in Cisneros. And Cisneros calls for it, does not get it, kicked back to the defense. Dylan Banker, as he plays it out to the right sideline. Up front, he was looking for Torres, and Torres holding his ankle. And they're going to say that a Monarchs player hit the ankle as Torres was getting the pass. And a big break there for Shy City, able to uh, be able to get that ball and now back again into the Springfield half of the field. And certainly if I was Springfield, I would be feeling all the pressure here as the Lions have really made a 
concerted effort to not only use the far side of the pitch, but also completely attack as much as they can on that as far as they can in front of the pitch. Throw in as it's near the 16 meter inside the 22 now. Right foot. It was a shot blocked. Kick straight up, and the goalkeeper in Villacus catches it. Austin, I will be right back. Hey, you know, not a bad effort there by Cisneros to be able to, to chip that ball towards the goalkeep. But, you know, overall, that was certainly not a move that you would have expected too much from him, trying to be able to find any teammates in the background as Springfield now tries to advance the ball as far as they can. Shia City really still doing a great job here in the midfield to be able to block any passes and get in front of any passing lanes that Springfield is attempting to set up here as they continue to move the ball forward and uh, trying to find someone towards in the middle in the six yard box. And that's a bit of a scrum, but the goalkeeper for Springfield is able to come up with that one in Jonathan Villicus. Out to the 40 meter now as the Monarchs They've been able to get it past midfield fairly easy, Austin, but they're having trouble getting it on net. Why is that the case? And, you know, like I was mentioning earlier, the Shy City Lions are doing a great job of getting in front of passing lanes, as you just saw right there in the midfield, to attempt any uh, thwarting any passes from Springfield's advance. Alejandre touched it last, free kick. Another thing, partner, way too many free kicks committed, um, well, Fouls committed by the Monarchs. Free kicks allowed for Shy City. Yeah, it absolutely is. And this kind of goes back to the mental errors that we were talking about earlier in this match. You know, I know it's early on in the season. You're still trying to get all your players together, trying to rally around the different playing styles as everybody's coming together for this USL League 2 season. But, you know, you look at these different free kick penalty situations, it seems as though Springfield is just really having a hard time of trying to find a way to stop Shy City. Good pass up in front, but it was headed well and cleared by the Monarchs. Now past midfield, double team. It was led by Alejandre, now at midfield. Taken away by Shy City, and it was tapped away that time by Namako. Out to Springfield, to the sideline. A lead pass over to Brown. Brown trying to shake the defense out of his shoes, but couldn't. Shot. And it's read well by the goalkeeper. Trying to keep that clean sheet is Andres Vasquez. One of the few times that Shy City has been deep in their own territory. And once they are partner, it takes about a minute, maybe less than that, for, get, for them to get it to the 40 meter and the 50 meter. It really is. And once you see these players go with these crossing balls here as a Offside is called on Chai City here. It's, you can see the actual speed, especially with which how far these players are kicking the ball across the pitch. You can tell exactly how fast these players are able to get up to it. it make, they make it look so easy. Once again, the text line's open, 330-957-7653. As it's kicked out again. And finally, maybe we'll see Villakis do a punt I just think he's hurt, partner. Usually when you don't see punts from the goalkeeper, it's because he's hurt either on his right or left side. Certainly so. And it, it also could come down to the Springfield ASC coaches' tactics as well, wanting another player to right. actually be able to chip that ball out. But it, it certainly is up to any type of situation for some of those goalkeepers. And when you see those punts, usually the goalkeeper gets it to the 50 meter, right to half midfield, and then it's stolen away anyways. So... Or at Soccer. that point, it might become a bit of a right. ping-pong match. Right, it, it's kind of a wash, right? You get it 50 meters up, but then Shy City steals, and then they get it back to the 22 meter. So would you rather be inside your own 22 and have the ball or give it to Shy City, and they have the ball near the 22, but you're probably going to steal it back quickly anyways? I don't know. It's, it's back and forth, kind of. You know, I'd have to ask Coach Charlie Latshaw in that case what his opinion on that might be. Because chances are you do that punt. I mean, sometimes you'll... It'll be a clean punt. You head it over to a midfielder and you maintain possession. But more times than not, it's stolen away. And then you kind of have <laughs> a heap of players all around the ball trying to get it. It's kind of like a board battle in hockey after that punt off the goal kick. At the 18th minute, one nothing, Shy City. That's not a misprint. They scored in the first two minutes of the match. 
First time in my history of soccer I've seen that. I mean, you'll see it maybe at 11U, 12U travel soccer, but we're at USL too. That was quite surprising. Played over by the defender and banker. Cisneros and Mensa are the outside backs. Banker and Ender are the center backs. Up to the 40 meter. It's tapped over. It seems like Shy City is a little bit more spread out. Their passing lanes are a little bit better and create more creative than the Monarchs. They are. Then their overall passing game is a lot crisper than the Monarchs are able to bring out against them as they've really had a lot more speed as you see Shy City screaming down the pitch there. Good idea. Just outside the 22 meter. Didn't get it on net. The goalie's a little bit smaller too for Villacus. So pepper him early and often, see if he can get that second goal. And the way that Shy City has played tonight, partner, a two goal lead, that might be it for the win for Shy City. You know, the way it's going so far for Springfield, you would certainly think that, but they have had some very uh, key chances it, closer towards their actual side of the pitch. But really overall, Shy City's had a lot more of the possession stats as well as being able to have those crossing balls across the field or even creating uh, clean lanes to have the ball on their side. Over to the sideline, Shy City again, they're dominating time of possession and time of attack. Good lead pass, chance for the second goal, it's an own goal, but they both count, own goal or a regular goal. Reg however you want to slice it, goal Shy City. We credit it to Kate Hagen, and it's two nothing in favor of the home team. That's right, a great opportunity there by Hagen, trying to look for another Shy City striker there in the middle, but you know what, a little bounce off of Albert Nimico for Springfield, gives Chicago City SC their 2-0 lead now, already 19 minutes into this match. Certainly a momentous part of this match has been their ability to attack quickly into the Springfield box, and they've made it work. Partner, it's so hard to avoid the own goal there. You're in a bad spot, your back's turned to the striker, but what can you do if you're a Monarchs defender in that spot to avoid the own goal? You know, the only thing you can do in that spot is to absolutely watch the ball. You, you hear soccer coaches preach that as much as you can, but you have to try and keep everything around you as much as you can, whether it be defenders or more strikers. As Chicago City is still not letting up. They're absolutely on fire right now, still trying to keep the pace going against Springfield. Over to the sideline. Great job using the chest, and now played over to Sharap at the 40 meter. Not saying it's over yet. We got a lot more soccer to play, but when you just look at it, the eye test would tell you Shy City is going to win 2 0 or maybe more than that. Absolutely. You know, 21 minutes now into this match, you would certainly think that Shy City is the overwhelming favorite to win this match, but we have seen some of those chances for Springfield come up as soon as they've crossed into the, some of the passing lanes for Shy City, but. Overall, the Lions have really done a good job of not only finding ways in the middle, but spraying it out on both sides of the pitch as they find another way deep into the box. But that's yeah, thwarted easily there by Springfield. It's read well, but yeah, I mean, it's so hard for Springfield right now, constantly inside your own 22 meter. And anytime you get it past midfield, you maybe get it inside the 22 for a couple seconds. Shy City steals it, and then Chicago City's going the other way once again with their midfielders. And you have to be feeling for Jonathan Villicus, the goalkeeper for Springfield. He's got to be on pins and needles every time the Chicago's on the attack now. Oh, good save by Villicus. Out to the 22, now played by Cisneros and kicked away to the 40 meter. Out to midfield. One of the few times Springfield's been on the attack, but it's like I've said previously, Austin, every time they're on the attack, Shy City's there with the answer and the steal. Exactly. Every time that Springfield's made an attempt to go farther into the Shy City defense, it's really they really haven't had the numbers to back it up and be able to have some set passing to try and make anything creative in the middle. But every time Shy City is able to respond very easily. Off the head and the ball boys are right on it, man. They are getting the ball right when it hits the fence, and they're the real MVPs, as Kevin Durant would say. <laughs> they certainly are. Those 12 and unders for uh, the Chicago City Youth Leagues are absolutely on us, stationed everywhere around this pitch. Did, <laughs> did you, this was like, I don't know, eight years ago, where the Kansas City Royals guy forgot that the ball was in play. So the, the ball boy tried to catch it, and it was in play, and he got in the way of the first baseman, and it fell in play for a fair ball. 
Oh, that is too funny. No, I have not. But you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if some of those moments would happen considering how young some of these uh, right. youth soccer players are it's, here. Uh, <laughs> you know the Royals are having a tough season where the, when even, not even the ball boy is, is rooting for your team. I think it was either the Royals at bat or the, or the, uh, the Blue Jays. But the, the play, as here comes Shai said, I'll tell you in a minute about what the play-by-play -play on SportsCenter was, but it was hilarious out to the 40-meter. And now play to midfield. But the play by play guy, the sports anchor for <laughs> Sports Center said, I got it, I got it. No, I got it. And the ball boy goes after the ball. <laughs> Partner, that is too good. That is one of those moments that will always live on. Uh, out to the 22, played by Shy City. And what's the call here, Austin Offside? Yes, sir, absolutely it is. The refs gives up that one arm there to the side, and Springfield will have that possession yet again. And, you know, if I'm the Monarchs, I've really got to find some different ways to get more creative on the inside because every time they've had some long passes, Shy City is able to get in front of it and try and create any sort of chaos in the middle to get some interceptions. So if I were them, I would try and shorten it up a little bit and try and keep your numbers on your side as much as you can to try and thwart this Lions attack that is absolutely relentless so far. Out to the sideline and a little bit too aggressive by Springfield. You know what? Maybe try something new at the sideline and went after it, but uh, not able to get the steal as Shy City plays it quick off the free kick. Well, partner, it's one of those games in soccer. We're not at the second half yet. It's the first half, obviously. It's a 2 nothing lead for Shy City. When do you start to be a little bit more conservative on offense? The second half or towards the end of the first half? You know, if it was me and I truly had the reins of, the, of a soccer team and I was still up 2-0 in the 25th minute, you, I, I would still try and press the attack as much as I could because Shy City won 4-2 twice last year when they faced Springfield. So yeah. if I were them, I would still try and keep the pressure on because obviously they had numbers last year to be able to score. But thus far in this year's match and this year's version of uh, the Sp Chai City and Springfield matchup, it's clearly one-sided so far. Not the greatest corner kick in the world. He was trying to feed it over to Gonda. And partner, when you're doing that corner kick, we have wind resistance, obviously. So how do you tap the ball to make sure it stays in the middle and the ball doesn't get away from you off the foot from that corner? You know, we were judging this pregame too because it was so windy here obviously the windy yeah. city so there was obviously <laughs> going to be a little something yeah. coming off of lake michigan right. but you have to keep that in account for any sport that you're playing outdoors and trying to tamper down any kind of extra leg movement that you can whether it be from a long corner kick or really just these long passes that springfield tries to attempt you really have to just kind of keep it conservative when you can out to the sideline and Kept in well. That was an excellent play that time by Justin Malabanov. But that's the problem, partner. We can't say these Springfield player names enough because they don't have the ball enough. Exactly, and that's a testament to the Shy City players thus far. They've really done a great job, and you can clearly tell that Coach Latshaw has done a great job in the limited time that they have had yeah. to prepare for this season and actually become a cohesive unit. Yeah, I mean, they just don't have the ball enough as it's a one-on-one -on -one the other way and kicked away by the goalkeeper and Vasquez. And that was a nice kick. It went from goalkeeper to goalkeeper. Both number ones between the pipes tonight. It's Vasquez against Villicus. And it's hard to really blame Villicus, the PK and the own goal. Could he have read that better? Maybe get in the way of that passing lane? Maybe that... It's hard for Villicus when his defense is constantly on their back heel most of the night. Exactly. And you can't blame Nimico for not trying his best on trying to stop that ball from getting into the back of his net. But, you know, he, he did all he could, but it was just the wrong angle at the wrong time for him to actually be able to stop that. We will turn the lights on in the next couple of minutes. It's one of those in-between nights. You know, summertime, you usually don't have to turn the lights on until after 8.15. Summer doesn't start for another month, June 20th officially, as here comes Springfield. And we'll call that a pass and a corner kick coming up for the Monarchs. And now this is certainly their best chance that they've had all night for Springfield. And if I were them, I would try and be as aggressive as possible to throw as many numbers in front of uh, Vasquez as possible. 
Hutchins will take it. One of their better players along with Pharrell Phils. See if they can feed Phils on this corner kick. Straight up. Good top spin. It's in the net. And just like that, off the corner, Shy City only leads by one. Springfield ASC really must have just taken my advice in that case <laughs> because you clearly saw an absolute mass of Monarchs right in front of Vasquez to try and block his view as much as they could. And a great effort there by them to be able to get on the board and respond after a very menacing attack so far in this game by Shy City. That was impressive. You were right, partner. Shy City, they might have to score four goals tonight or avoid the corner kicks. Springfield, unless it's a set piece off a free kick or a corner, just regular 10-on-10 uh, 10 -10 soccer, it's been Shy City tonight, most of the night. Over to the defense and trying to feed that time to Hagen. Hagen plays it. Now played that time by Gonda. Gonda. And they play on. Gonda might have gotten the jersey of his opponent, but they don't call it, and it'll be a throw-in for Namako. Throw-ins are so difficult, Austin. You gotta have both feet planted. That's when you can tell when guys have been hitting the weight room or not. You get that upper body strength to get more on that ball. Obviously, soccer more lower body in the weight room than upper body, but if you can hit that weight room a little bit for the upper body, it's gonna show on those throw-ins. It really is, and a well-done throw-in can make all the difference in the world in gaining as much advantage on the position side of the ball, whether it be not only on the near side here, but getting it close into the net there. And that was actually headed by a Springfield player up front. As Shy City will look to answer. It's played by Cisneros. Cisneros, he's triple teamed. He breaks through the triple team on his right foot, setting it over to the right wing side. Partner, that was impressive by Cisneros. Yeah, that was a beautiful, simple looking move, but he made it look so effortless there for Cisneros. Crosser. And I don't think Villakis had to touch that. He did touch it, and luckily his defense was there to kick it out. It would have been a corner kick if not for that kick out, and it might have been an unnecessary corner as it looked like the ball was going to go over the crossbar. It really did. That was a very close shot there by Shy City to actually be able to get it close to Villakis, but credit to Nemico for kicking that ball as far out as he could and not allowing the Lions any more chances inside the box. We won't call it a mistake, just questionable by Villakis, but that, then again, when it's that close to the crossbar, it would be so devastating to get one of those balls that goes off the crossbar in the net after you just made it 2-1. to one. Shy City trying to maintain their attack out to midfield. That's clean, by the way. He got ball before leg. As now on the sideline, what a beautiful pass. What a beautiful pass indeed by Torales. Now Springfield steals. The intended target that time was Malavanov and here comes Shy City. Sammy Sharaf. All that Shy City needs to do, Austin, avoid the free kicks, avoid the corner kicks, and I think they'll get the win. Agreed, partner. You know, you see some of those set pieces for Springfield. They clearly worked last time for the corner on the far side of the pitch last time, but, you know, Shy City's interplay in the middle to be able to pass consistently and cleanly has been some of their biggest advantages thus far in the match as they've not allowed Springfield too many chances to intercept while they've done so themselves. What do you see as some of the advantages and disadvantages for an away team versus the home team Shy City playing on this Lions for Hope sports complex turf versus a high school grass or turf field? Well, you know, you, you would expect the turf field to always be in impeccable condition as it never really has too many divots or any other kind of ways to slow your players down as it, it's going to be a consistent surface. But really overall, you would expect, even no matter where you're going, you would still have the same mentality of exactly how you're going to attack your opponent no matter what the field conditions are. And it seems as though Springfield's rising to the occasion as much as they can now and feeling much more resurgent after that uh, second goal or third goal of the match yeah, there for right. them. That's where we stand right now. It's a 2-1 lead. Only one goal was off regulation soccer. Well, regulation soccer meaning a non-corner kick or free kick. Regular 10 on 10. And that was an own goal. So we haven't seen a clean, non-PK, non-free kick, non-own goal yet. Exactly. And the way that it's going thus far in this match, I would expect either side to exactly have that opportunity at some point. The way that they've being able to stream down the field. 
as Chicago City SC is trying to make some movement here. Kick, and it goes high over the crossbar. Good idea, but not able to get it on net. Alejandro with a beautiful opportunity there. Just a little bit too high and away, a little too much mustard on that hot dog there. But, you know, it, he made a great effort to be able to actually keep Villicas at bay. That's the biggest thing that Chicago City SC has done all night is to try and keep him on his hands and toes. Over to the sideline. Good pass that time as he led it over to Hutchins. Open front, off the head. Goal kick coming up, but a nice... Uh, set up by Shy City. Now, they, are they going to say that Springfield touched it? It sure yes, looks so like Shy City. A Springfield player did touch that at just the very end, so this will result in a corner for wow, Shy City was, here. Is, I'm going to watch that on YouTube in a second. I thought I saw Shy City had it. This is a huge break for Shy City if they can score here. Out in front off the foot, but Shy City will maintain their attack. As it's kicked over that time to Hagen. Hagen gets past the initial defender. Hagen, right-footed kick. He crosses it over. No one there to get it. And a throw-in coming up. As no damage done on that. Called somewhat of a questionable corner kick allotted. As a throw-in now to Springfield. You know, that was beautiful footwork by Hagen to try and attempt to get another person involved there on a goal, but just nothing doing there as he kicked it a little too far wide on that opportunity. Throw in, plays it over to the sideline. And now in midfield, Shy City. Oh, look at that little tap pass over the midfielder. Springfield looking to steal. As it's now played by Hagen. And now out to midfield. It was off the pass from Alejandre. As it feeds it over to Gonda, sending it over to the sideline. Last touch by Torres. <coughs> Out in front, chance off the post. And partner, what happened to Springfield? Two guys seem to be wide open in front of the net. They really did, yeah. There was a bit of a breakdown again from Springfield. They're not really finding different ways to be able to keep up with Shy City. The, the speed is evident here for the Lions to be able to actually get across that pitch and, and find different ways. And again, Hagen, that connection to Gonda over there in the middle, it was great work there. And I was wrong. It was indeed off Springfield off that corner. So good call by the ref. As I was wrong, ref was right. Oh, and it looks like we got a we got a player down here, partner. We got Stephen Brown for a Springfield AS. He had a bit of a run in there with a Shy City midfielder. We hope he's okay. We're going to take a break as the trainers attend to him. Hope he's all right. We'll be back here on SBS. I'm Leroy, I'm a uh, U.S. Army veteran. I coach because I like to teach the kids about being a member of a team and uh, being, being energized and having fun. I love coaching with I-9 Sports because uh, they're about having fun. They teach the kids about safety and about getting out and enjoying themselves. Coaching is inspiration. They're about ready to play as it's 2-1 in favor of uh, Shy City. It was 2-0, but a corner kick goal as it was led by Hutchins. And that's where we stand right now, Austin, the 2-1 game for Chicago City. Absolutely. You would, you would say that Springfield is trying to resurge themselves in this actual second half of this first half here after getting that goal. But, you know, it, Chicago City SC is still doing a fantastic job of finding different passing avenues to be able to get across in the midfield and keep the pressure on Jonathan Villicus, the goalkeeper for Springfield here. It's now Springfield tries to get it wide yet again. 
but it met immediately by another Chicago defender there. As now the Lions push it back and give a more conservative pace here as Vasquez handles the ball himself on his own foot. Setting and then the captain there. banker yeah. trying to find his way past the Springfield defense. A clean pass yet again. And that's another thing that you have to credit Shy City. They're able to get positioning kind of like you do for a box out in basketball. The way that they're able to move in front of the Springfield players to get as much advantage on the pitch has been a great effort by them. Staying aggressive. It sure has, partner. And for Shy City, knowing that you're, Mike, you're probably going to have to score at least one more goal, if not two, to get the win. Now, that being said, they could still win this match 2-1. to one. No more corner kicks. If you're going to allow corner kicks, you've got to be able to head that ball out quickly. And that's what uh, Springfield's been able to do. Not so much for Shy City. Granted, Shy City's had more corner kicks, more of a sample size than Springfield. But what kind of adjustments does uh, Shy City make if they allow corner kicks? You know, any more corner kicks or set pieces allowed by Shy City just have to be continually finding the ways towards the ball. And whenever we saw all those bodies go against Vasquez early on, as we have an opportunity here, but it's called offside. Oh, what a beautiful moment that could have been for Josh Torres, one of the strikers for Chicago City C, but he was found a little bit too far in front of those defenders from Springfield. But like I was mentioning earlier, though, Chicago City SC has done a fantastic job of getting in front of those passing lanes, as well as Cisneros. You have to credit him. He's playing a little bit of midfield, a little bit of defense. But overall, he's been one of the best passers thus far in the match for Chicago City SC, getting into all those different avenues. As the Monarchs have an attempt there, almost getting into the back of the net as they keep on crossing it inside that 20-yard box. They sure did, partner. It was a nice chance for Springfield. Just went, went, went a little wide on the shot. And uh, for Shy City, look, man, this match is far from over. You allow a goal here. Look, you want to get the win. You'd like to get an impressive win, a 4-1 win. It was looking like we might get that as we got to the 27th minute. Now it's just, let's get the three points. We'll take the one, but we really want the three. Exactly, and, and there's still so much soccer left to be played in this match as we have a whole other half coming up, but what we've seen thus far from Chicago City SC is just a concerted effort to actually be able to get in front of passing lanes, stay aggressive on offense, push the defense as far back as they can, and really one of my MVPs thus far of the match, just watching him use his legs through different maneuvers, getting around defenders, is, is Cisneros. I've really thought that he's done a fantastic job, number three, Julian Cisneros. We are now past the 41st minute. We'll probably play at least two minutes of extra time as they feed it in front. Cisneros with a chance. And players fall all over the place. Almost a handball part of that was close to the hands. Uh, that time, do you have a 15 on the roster? I don't have one. 15 would be Gary Griffith the third for them, but it was number five from what I saw for Javin Sutherland okay. for Springfield. Yeah, you're right. It was it was Sutherland number five. As it's a 2-1 lead still, but uh, Shy City trying to get that third goal. As they've turned on the lights, just a tad bit brighter here in Chicago. And then that time, partner, they actually will be calling that. was a handball called there on Chicago. Springfield had the advantage here for a free kick. Well, if you're Springfield, you'd love to have the tie going into halftime. You'll take the 2-1 deficit as it's fed over to the sideline, looking for Hutchins. Hutchins in front would like to get that pass elevated if he could have, but it's kicked out. Goal kick coming up for Vasquez. And a good quick move there by Hutchins to meet the Springfield offense there as well as the captain for Chicago City SC, Dylan Banker, to be able to meet Springfield as well in the 20-yard box to thwart any kind of attack that they had. Great awareness by him to speed over and block any kind of shot. The text line's still open, 330-957-7653, your favorite high school, college, or MLS memory. Off the foot, here comes Shy Nation. Tap and go move, looking to feed Cisneros. Cisneros. Little tap kick off his right foot and then played by the goalkeeper that time in Villa Kiss. 
Now with the 40 meter, setting it up for Hutchins. As Hutchins plays it past the midway line. Now over to Phils. As it's played at midfield, getting it over that time to Gonda. Gonda, good right footed kick to Cisneros. Cisneros is very much the playmaker on this team as he's double teamed on the sideline. Now past the 40 as he kicks it out that time to Torales. Now at midfield as we're at the 43rd minute. A little tap kick as he gets it back over that time to Banker. And sliding it over to Torales. Torales feeding it over in between the 40 and 50 meter to the boundary. Inside the 40. Inside the 40 again, out to Torales. Torales, great pass, chance, and picked up and smothered up by Villa Kiss. Great couple of minutes of soccer there, though, by Chicago City. It absolutely was, and, and you know, great opportunities yet again for Chicago. Simple passes from one player to another, whether it be Hagen or as well as Gonda, right there in the middle, just waiting on their opportunity to score yet another goal for the Lions in front of their home fans here at Lions for Hope Sports Complex. It is played by Sandy and now out to the defense. Well, Chicago City won this half, partner, but the Monarchs showed Shy City. They're not going down without a fight. It, Shy City's still going to have to give them A-plus effort to win this match. They really are. And they're, they're, both teams are now really, after kind of feeling themselves out there through a sort of boxing match kind of reference there, figuring out which ways they want to attack each other. It's now been a bit of a more back-and-forth affair trying to figure out exactly how they want to go about using their offensive schemes. As Chicago still looks comfortable, though, in any area of the field to handle the ball as there's a long pass there yeah, I mean, that doesn't meet anyone as Yusuf al is for Springfield. Other than that, though, when it's 10 on 10, I'd say 85% of the time, Shy City's winning those battles. They really are. And it, you can tell that the speed is simply unmatched, especially on the far side with not only Cisneros, but also you look at other players like Alejandro and Torellas. They're absolutely lightning fast down that pitch. Pass midfield, tap kick. Read well by the opposing goalkeeper and sliding it over after catching it was the goalkeeper in Vasquez. Trying to get it forward and does. And partner, the other thing too is Shy Nation, Shy City, um, as it's a, uh, it's a kick from behind that time by Sutherland and was last touched by Shy City. But the good thing that Shy City is doing, when they get near the boundary, they're kicking it straight up and avoiding giving up throw-ins. Yeah, exactly. The, just their touch and precision to be able to keep that ball in bounds has been one of their hallmarks so far in this game because they've been so accurate. Chance and Vasquez will cover it up. Cineros wasting a little bit of time as we're now in extra time. And that was clearly right there the best chance that Stephen Brown and not only the rest of the Springfield ASC team has had to not only get in front of Vasquez and just create havoc in front of him, but just a missed opportunity for Brown to finish there and find a way around uh, Chicago City's keep. You gotta give credit to this Springfield ASC team. You give up a PK in the first minute as it's a push off by Springfield. Then you give up another goal on an own goal. They could have just given up, played B minus effort level soccer. We didn't see that. We got their best effort once it was two nothing and it's up to Shy City to maintain the pressure, maintain the excellent passing lanes to finish up for the victory. Exactly, and, and thus far, you would think that the momentum would still ride with Chicago City SC, but clearly Springfield, once they have their moments, they can be deadly, as we saw Stephen Brown make a great attempt last time they were on the pitch. Left footed kick in front. Great job by Villakis. That's why he's the starting keeper. It looked like a goal for Shy City, but Villakis, this is good USL2 soccer, shows why he's up at this level. Good save by Villakis. And this might be the last corner of the half for Shy City. Obviously, you want to score, and you don't want to uh, allow a throw in because as we get closer to the 48th, 49th minute, that would end the half. Out in front off the corner chance and just can't kick it in. Good, good try, Party. I'd like to see that ball get closer to the middle of the goal, but there were two shy city players there and not enough defenders to kick it away. If it had gotten to the feet, they could have volleyed it in for the one-time goal. 
They really can. And that would have been a beautiful ping pong opportunity as well to quickly shift it over to another player as Kate Hagen was there, but not enough as the half now comes to an end. Shy City, it could be three to one, it could be four to one, but right now it's two to one. We'll see if Shy City can take advantage of more opportunities in the second half. We'll take a five minute break, then we'll get you some halftime analysis courtesy of our Stat Crew Digital Live Stats. You're watching SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre- and post-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so I think that's what got us going. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary, a no-hitter at Kane County Stadium, 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. That time, finally a goal for the Stampede! We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts, and play-by-play -play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. Plus, we do pre-game and post-game interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the post-game show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith. My name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. The other team slashed me, took the opportunity, Saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense. And Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway, a 2 on 0. A shot, and his goal! So, 3-3. Three to three. The power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics. And we have watermarks. 
finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, we also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Livestream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. We broadcast sporting events for people of all ages, including adult leagues, high school leagues, and kids. Complete with professional-looking graphics, broadcasters, color analysis, and commercials. We do pre- and post-game interviews with the players. In addition, Sports Broadcast Solutions does highlight films, including college recruiting reels, highlight films you'd see on sports news programs, and just simply highlight films for fun. Sports Broadcast Solutions also provides raw footage and live streams if you'd like. Subscribe to us and listen to our professional talk videos about relevant topics in the pro and college ranks. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, contact us at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital world. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre- and post-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so I think that's what got us going. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary. A no-hitter at Kane County Stadium. 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. Tonight. That time, finally a goal for the Stampede! We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts and play-by-play -play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club or sponsor, and us. Plus, we do pre-game and post-game interviews. Hi, everybody. 
everybody, and welcome to the post game show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle, but my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast. Uh, 50 free and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. The other team slashed me, took the opportunity, saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense, and Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway, a 2 on 0 A shot, and his goal! So, 3-3, three to three. the power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad...
Good evening, everybody. Second half of soccer about to start here on SBS, a broadcast and never for everyone. If you like what we do and you'd like for us to broadcast your next sporting event, just go to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com, leave us a message, and we'll make sure to broadcast. We go live on Channel 59.3, YouTube and Twitter. Austin, it's 2-1 to one in favor of Chicago City uh, SC. They've dominated this match, but not on the scoreboard. What can Springfield do to kind of squeeze by a tie or maybe even a win tonight? You know, they've been absolutely fantastic on some of those set-piece options as Stephen Brown was one of the recipients there on one of the goals that they had off the late set-piece uh corner kick there for their whole team but you know overall Springfield has done a great job of when they have the ball deep in their attack they're actually able to create good chances from lone strikers they haven't had too much of a team mesh unless they've thrown the bodies in front for those corner kicks though those are few and far between but they've done a great job in that sense so if they can find ways to get further down on the pitch and get more corner kicks as well as any other set pieces that they can, that they can draw up That'll give them an advantage to tie up or even go ahead in this game because they really have been putting a great effort in ever since they scored that first goal. But Chicago City SC's speed has been the difference thus far, whether it be for crossing or for actually getting down the pitch to have an individual shot in the 20-yard box. Second half about to start. It'll be Springfield's ball here on SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Actually, sorry, it will be Shy City's ball. I thought I saw Springfield around it. It'll be Gonda's ball here in the second half. 45-minute halves. About three to four minutes of extra time, assuming that uh, we don't have as many stoppages as we had in the first half. And here we go. Shy City looking to get that win. They were up 2-0. No more shutouts. So for Vasquez, he can't put the clean sheet on his resume. Now it's just about getting that dub. Exactly. It, it certainly is. He, he had a great opportunity for most of the game to remain uh, scoreless, but you know, Springfield's attack and ability to throw bodies in the front for that one corner kick and have one player just jump up high enough and have a good enough angle to get it past Vasquez was enough. As looking for the free kick is Springfield. No call as it's getting a little bit foggier here in Chicago. Now past midfield, past the 40 meter. As Shy City had it briefly at the 40 as they play at that time to Alejandre. Now to Shy City at the sideline. Past the 40 is set up now over to Ander. Ander playing it past midfield. And it goes over to the foot that time of Franklin. Left footed kick. Trying to kick it out and does to Springfield as Shy City will have to group one on one style. Back in their own territory. Throw in coming up as Springfield. Hey, you know what, partner? There yeah. was a bit of a situation yeah. there, almost in the Kansas City Royals right. scenario where we saw one of the ball boys. That ball was dangerously close from being the difference between a throw in and a goal kick there. So we'll have to see if one of those uh, 12 and under kids is uh, remained back towards the other side of the sideline there. That ball had a very close opportunity becoming 50 50 there. Yeah, I mean, it looked like it was going out regardless, but yeah, ball boy. Now he's only, what, 10, maybe 8 years old. As much as I love uh, Shy City, we're not the Chicago Fire quite yet, so, you know, we're having fun. It's a nice pre-professional soccer match. Give the kid the benefit of the doubt it's going out anyways. Oh, absolutely. Just a matter of uh, whether or not it was going to be just a throw-in or right. a uh, goal kick there. Yeah, but, sure. you know, exactly. you got to let the kids play. If you're Springfield, do you stay aggressive the whole match or do you be aggressive the first five to 15 minutes because if you give up another goal, the game's pretty much over. You know, beginning any second half for any soccer match, you, you kind of have to do a retest of what exactly the opponents are actually going to be throwing out towards you. And so because of that, if I were Springfield, I would certainly come out with as much firepower as I could and try and keep Chicago City SC on their toes. But, you know, thus far, they've really done a good job of honing in on what they want to do and staying at bay and only attacking when they feel it necessary. As that shot by Torales once goes wide. Usually you see the goalkeepers wearing the yellow, but uh, Villakis repping Northwestern with the purple. Exactly. We saw the uh, Springfield players repping some purple uniforms for warm-ups and everything like that, showing off a bit of their uh, monarch colors there. 
course, the Kansas City Monarchs, very famous baseball team before the days of segregation being disallowed. There was segregation, but the Kansas City Monarchs. Can you name some of the famous players who played for the Monarchs? You know, I absolutely know the organization, but knowing some of their players might be a little bit dif difficult, especially when you're putting me on the spot here. But I do know that they have some very famous alumni. Yeah. Now, the Chicago American Giants, they used to play at, uh, it was called Comiskey Park at the time, sold away by Springfield. And now the Independent League team is called the Kansas City Monarchs. And it's kicked over the sideline. And if I'm not mistaken, that team used to be called the Kansas City T-Bones. Right, if, yeah. If that's yeah, correct. Right, yeah. You know, I, I, I get the reasoning to go with Monarchs, but that is just a fantastic nickname. If there's any other Kansas City team that comes to town, potentially the NHL with the yeah. Arizona situation, <laughs> that would be a fantastic replacement for well, a name, putting in T-Bones. But, you know, that's just my two cents. That's kicked out in front. Read well by uh, Vasquez. It's getting close, though, for Shy City. A little close for comfort for these Shy City fans. It was 2 nothing, then 2-1. to one, And now Springfield's taking it to them. Look, I, I know that you want to be aggressive on offense, but for Shy City, they might have to bring some midfielders back and try to maintain this 2-1 win. Yeah, they really will. And especially you can see it in the Springfield players' eyes. They're, they're just looking for any other avenue to be able to steal the balls and do exactly what Shy City did so well early in the second half and get in front of passing lanes and find interceptions in the midfield. With the overhand pass. Springfield, they lost the first half, but they're trying to win the second one. Oh, my goodness. What a job keeping that in that time by Longden. But goes for not, stolen away by Shy City. As we probably expect both teams to go to the bench, uh, probably at the 70th minute. As Springfield steals, definitely free kick coming up. Too aggressive, you think? For me, I thought that was too aggressive from Shy City. Yeah, it certainly was. And that's the first booking of the whole game here for uh, Shy City or Springfield. Uh, yeah, it was just a little too much too fast there for Kate Hagen of Shy City. See what Springfield ASC wants to do here. It's a very unique team, the Athletic Sporting Club. We did a United Premier Soccer League, big old by Springfield FC. Is that centered up in front? Header, another header, a chance, and Vasquez covers it up. Good little set piece, one pass, two headers, just could get a lot of elevation on it. Exactly. We saw John Lee Bonneau as well as some other Springfield ASC players down there in the middle trying to make something happen as well as Nico Vega. But, you know, it, it was those opportunities just like that that gives them a chance to create more chaos right in front of Vasquez for Chicago City has seen. If they want to find a way to equalize this match, they got to continue to do something along those lines. Over to Banker as he sets it back up to his goalkeeper in Vasquez. Final reminder, the text line's open. Your favorite MLS or FIFA World Cup memory. 330-957-7653. Offside, committed by Chicago FC's A.J. Franklin. And we'll see how Sporting FC, sorry, Sp Sporting Athletic Club regroups on defense to go back on offense. A lot of free kicks that Chicago City has given up, partner. Look, They look a little lackadaisical, a little bit... Uh, I'm not going to say lazy, but not their best soccer thus far. You know, thus far, I, I would tend to agree with you because it, it's almost like a reversal of what we saw in that first half. Springfield committed a lot of those fouls and was a little bit too aggressive and giving Chai City a lot of opportunities for set pieces as well as interplay in the middle of the field. But now it's kind of flipped. You've seen Chicago City SC become too aggressive and they're almost overthinking it a little bit more than they were in that first half where they were a little bit more free-flowing. It had an easier way to pass across to each other throughout both sides of the pitch. So this is basically a free kick at the sideline. You could do a crosser, or what you could do is a kick and maybe try a one-timer on net. They're going to try the crosser. Got too much on it. Headed back forward. And you'd like to see that ball at that 90-degree angle right in front of the net, way too far on the pass, and just an easy save for Vasquez. 
Yeah, it really was. Great awareness there by Vasquez to pick up that save, but really just not quite enough oomph there by Daryl Longden to be able to get that towards the back of the net. He had a great angle on that ball, but just not quite enough effort there to finish it off and equalize the second half. Near the Lions logo. It's a beautiful night for soccer as the home of the Chicago Lions rugby team. Great play by Franklin as he's pushed to the ground. Oh my goodness. Partner, they missed that one. Pushed him to the ground. Franklin did not get the call. And that was a huge no call. As here comes Sporting Athletic Club. He was offside. I get it. You, you want them to play on, but you can't push him to the pitch like that. And it's been a very good ref game, but that one I think they missed. Yeah, it certainly seemed like a... Missed opportunity there, but you know, it, at some points the referees have to continue to make those decisions on whether or not they want all the players on the pitch to continue playing on and right. avoid any unnecessary mistakes as well as bookings. Yeah, the other thing is too, whatever you call in the first minute of the match, you have to call in the 89th minute. And that's the problem. If you miss one free kick, then technically that's you're gonna be consistent style of refing the whole match. So was that probably a free kick? To me it was, but if you didn't call that in the first half, you certainly can't call it in the second half. And we can hearken it back to the second half, or the first half, excuse me, in which we saw Springfield have a similar situation with Shy City, but the refs kept playing it on. And so it, it does seem the refs are trying to be as consistent as possible in these certain scenarios, although it was an aggressive maneuver there for Springfield on that last one. If you're shy city, do you stay aggressive the whole match or at the 75th minute, do you bring your midfielders back and just maintain this 2-1 win? You know, at this point, you might as well maintain your 2-1 lead as much as you can because they've had great opportunities like this, but just a little too much eagerness <laughs> as they're called for offside there. Yeah. Well, you know what? Unless you fully hear it, get it on net because sometimes it could be an inadvertent whistle. I think there was a playoff game a couple years ago between the Bengals and the, uh, the Raiders, you might have forgotten about it, but there was like an inadvertent whistle during a playoff game, and, it, it, if, and uh, the, the, the touchdown for the Raiders was called off due to, the, due to the whistle. So for there, if you don't hear it, you just have to play on, and if you hear it, unless you fully heard it, play on, because it might be an inadvertent whistle. Out to midfield, played by Springfield. The men in orange against the men in blue. Push off. Who pushed off first? They're going to say that it was Springfield. I mean, uh, it was Shy, Shy City pushed off Springfield. And a bit of a quick start there for Springfield. Yeah, Referee that's... didn't approve of that one. Right. Had to give it back there to uh, the captain for Springfield, Tristan Sandy. It wasn't a good pass either. There was a lot of defenders over to that side of the pitch, and it was going to get stolen, but it was blown dead by the ref. Anyways, they call... Now we got a throw in, so it went out of bounds. And a bit of a rare call there. You would always see some of the refs in soccer give a little bit of leeway whenever that ball's flirting with the yeah. out of bounds mark there, whether or not it's going into touch, but clearly making the right right call on that one. So this is one of those interesting pitches. There's there's not a lot of room between the, the net, well, the rope and the sideline. So to let them play with the ball barely crossing over. Not, not going to say an injury could happen, but it, there's not a lot of leeway room there between the rope and the and sideline. So for the refs, they want to keep these players safe as much as possible. Oh, it's certainly so, considering there's nothing but gravel after right. this uh, kind of five-yard marking of turf. So it, it certainly makes sense. But, you know, you look at some of these MLS pitches or even Premier League, there's hardly any space between the out-of-bounds marks as well as between those advertisement posts that are just <laughs> right up next to the pitch. So it's always a wonder that some of those players don't ever have a slide tackle or anything among, among those lines get into those areas. So one of, the, one of the guys in our YouTube live chat saying, A.J. Franklin over under .5 goals. I don't know if they have a points bet account for USL2. Here we go, chance for Shy City. Shot just a little bit wide. Could have put the game away, but at the end of the day, it's just a goal kick. And uh, no points better count for USL 2. At the 13th minute, 2-1 score. As looking for Franklin, that left-footed kick past the halfway line. 
as it goes to the sideline. Throw in coming up for Springfield as it'll be a throw in by Daryl Longdon. Bakes it. A lot of umph on that pass. Headed over. Played by Shy City. Might have gotten a hand on it, but they say it went off the chest. A nice aggressive maneuver there by Sheriff to be able to get that ball away and bring some momentum back to Chicago City. They have not been on the attacking end most of the night. A little the second half, anyways. Lead pass. Going after it and covering it up that time in the goalkeeper in Villicus. Don't go anywhere. The postgame show brought to you by SBS coming up after the match. As Shy City looking to maintain and finish up this 2-1 win. Out near the 40. It's stolen away by Lucas Onder. Onder. As he feeds that time over to Franklin. Franklin on the left foot. Over to the other corner, and it's played that time by Hagen. Hagen setting it up to Cisneros, shot, save, ball loose, corner kick coming up. Great setup that time by Chicago City. A great opportunity, and as well, Maragona was right there, right next to the uh, Springfield keeper there, Jonathan Villicus, in an attempt to try and get another goal for the Lions here on their home pitch, but not quite enough as Villicus makes a fantastic save. Torales off the pass as Springfield looking to steal. Springfield and does, indeed does steal. It was done by Brown and then kicked out by Shy City. Getting over to the play that time was Sharaf. Beautiful pitch here at Lions Hope for Sports Complex. And they've got a great setup here. We're right above so we can see the entire play develop. High arching kick past the 40 meter. On it is Onder and not able to get it right away, but eventually covering it up that time is Vasquez. 2-1 game. All the goals were scored in the first half. None of them have been what you would call regulation goals. PK, a corner kick, and an own goal, and that's where we stand right now. And the difference in this game, an own goal given up by Springfield. Exactly, and that's sometimes all that you need, just the right angles at the right time and really it being in the right place at the right time as well. It was a beautiful shot whenever it was uh, the own goal against Springfield, but, you know, those opportunities don't always come so often, and obviously we can see that here in the second half as there's really been not too much movement in, in between some of those boxes as we've already gone 15 minutes without yet another goal. But at the moment, we do have some substitutions here with Sammy Sharaf coming off the pitch. And, and coming, coming onto the pitch, we'll have Ben yeah. Suddeth. Yeah, Ben Suddeth is coming in. See what Suddeth can bring off the bench at the 62nd minute. Played that time by Torales. Now over to Suddeth. Suddeth. Great, great feed. And then kicked over to the boundary. Franklin trying to set it up in front and kicking it straight up off the leg. Now back out to the sideline. And kicked out to the 40. That's definitely a free kick as it was out to Onder. Almost close to a yellow card there, Austin. It certainly was. Just a... Malavalov was right there in the culprit on that attack. Certainly trying to get in front of that passing lane for Chicago City SC, but he was called out for it there by the ref. And now a fantastic opportunity for Chicago City SC to get some more momentum on their side to try and get another ball in the back of the net. Number two will take it. High arching kick, header, ball up in the air. Who will win this battle? It was won by Springfield, but stealing it is Shy City. And free kick coming up. It'll be a goal kick since it was last touched by Villicus. 
And that's just one of those tough calls that you hate to see for Chicago City SC as the ref calls them offside on that one as there are so many Springfield defenders back there, but the refs obviously have the better eyes and the better angles than we do, So, and they're the ones making these calls, so it's up to them. But still, great opportunities left available for Chicago City SC to be able to continue moving that ball forward. Out as Springfield to, now tries to make their own advance. Out to Springfield, setting up in front off the foot, and corner kick coming up. So it'll be a Springfield corner with a chance to tie it. As it's set up in front, chance! It's in the net! Springfield ties it up off the corner. What do you know about that? We're all tied at two. Both corners scored for Springfield. They don't do much of anything on regulation 10 on 10, but they do <laughs> score off the corner, and that's where we stand right now, partner. It was 2 nothing. Can't can't worry about that anymore if you're uh, shy city now you just got to get the win. Absolutely, you surely can, but that was a beautiful sweeping shot by Springfield ASC to be able to equalize this game. And you know Vasquez did all that he could to be able to get in front of that shot, but it was just simply too far and away above him in that upper 90 of that net. It's a 2-2 score at the 65th minute. As Mensa Jr. looking to do a lot of damage off the bench. What a comeback by Springfield. And you don't think a corner is going to hurt you. It's one of those secretly <laughs> hurtful things. As Mensa actually did start number two tonight for, for uh, uh, Shy City. Mensa in front. And it's kicked out by Springfield. It was 2 nothing. Now it's 2-2 two to two as it's played at midfield. Right now, played by Alejandre. Out to midfield. And partner for Shy City, now they have to deal with some adversity. It looked like it was going to be an easy victory. Not so much anymore. Whatever you do, don't you got to avoid the zero points of the loss. But now you got to find a way to win 3-2 to two instead of it looking like it being a 2 nothing win. Exactly. You certainly don't want to split the points wherever possible, but in this situation, Springfield has done a fantastic job of flying back into this game, whether it be not only on some of these set pieces, but also just their ability to create chaos whenever they can, right in front of the net against Vasquez, and it, it, credit to him. He did all that he could on that shot, but it was just a beautiful sweeping shot too far and fast away from him to be able to stop that one. But thus far, it has been a very impressive showing for Springfield moving forward here as the refs stop play. And, and a yellow, yellow is being shown issue. here. And it looks like that one might be going towards Cisneros for Chicago. We'll have to have confirmation on that later. But Springfield will retain possession now after that booking. Out to the sideline. This would be huge for Springfield. After starting off the match so terribly, giving up a PK in the first couple of minutes, you hate to see it holding his knee, but we play on off the head as Springfield, I mean, uh, Springfield Sporting AC looking to maintain the attack. And Zach Kick goes wide as he was holding his knee and then getting back up. And it looked like it was Lucas Onder holding it. That's right, and he collided over there with the captain for Springfield, Tristan Sandy. And both players are still kind of shaken up and still worried about their health after that one, but both seem to be doing well afterwards. Certainly a tough collision to deal with. Out to the sideline. Now played up in front. Gonda, now that's just inadvertent contact, no foul. Both players being aggressive on that play. Offside called against Springfield Athletic Sporting Club. The Monarchs, you could call it a two-goal run. They're on a 2-0 run as uh, two unanswered goals by Shy City and then Springfield answers with a two-spot of their own. Feeding it to the 40-meter in between the 40 and the 50. Springfield playing it as it's kicked out that time to Longdon. 
Left-footed kick. Mensa falls down, but playing it on the turf. What a steal. Oh, a beautiful moment, almost just wasted there. Now Springfield able to get that ball back. And now their interplay has been on such a higher level in this second half in the midfield to be able to get crisp, clean passes to one another and just simply keep it away from Chicago City. That has been the difference thus far in this half. They've been playing a much more team-concerted effort here to continue to keep possession on their side as the ref pauses that one as Springfield makes an error. As it's out to the 40 meter. And now played that time by Ander. Ander, good move. Left footed kick as it's passed over to the 40 meter. Sudath, and something fell. I don't know if it was a mouth guard or but yeah, something it almost fell. looks like <laughs> someone's shin, not quite shin guard, but I think yeah. it was. Right. It certainly Very was. It one. was somebody's shin guard there for Springfield ASC. Yeah, you're going to need That'd that. That would be Justin Malavalov. You're going to need that shin guard, especially if you want to be in front of the wall on free kicks. Oh, absolutely. Very far moving ball. Don't go anywhere. The postgame show brought to you by SBS following the match. As Springfield Athletic Sporting Club looking to steal one in Chicago. They trailed early 2-0. It's now 2-2. Only one goal scored in the second half. It was scored by the visiting team. And, you know, this would be a massive win for, or really any sort of result here for Springfield as they went 2-1 and 11 just last year. They really had not had too much going for them overall, but an opening statement coming away with points on the road would be massive for a club that struggled mightily last year. 11 ties. Wow. That is nuts. Oh, that would be losses, partner. Sorry if I had that mixed up there. Right. Okay. So, so just one singular gonna... draw last year. Okay. So used to, so used to my hockey analogies with uh, wins, loss, ties. And now it's overtime losses. Pass, shot, save that time. Great job getting out of the net by Villikis. The aggressive maneuver there for Villikis paid off. I mean, if he had stayed in that, that would have been a point blank shot anyways. That's the only problem with those slow moving balls. It's easier to lead your teammate, but it's also easier for the goalkeeper to steal or get in front of the shot. But uh, it was a good lead pass regardless to let his uh, teammate run on top of it. Nice little tap pass. Maybe a little bit dangerous, but uh, no harm done. Out of midfield. Now to the 40 meter. Here comes Shy City. Stolen away by Springfield Athletic Sporting Club as they kick it just before it goes out. But it goes out anyways into the trees, into the 72nd minute. And time running out for Shy City to get the three points. It really is, and it, you really do still feel the momentum with Springfield ASC as they've done a fantastic job of trying to keep that ball away consistently in the second half against Chicago City SC. But for now, for the Lions, they are really going to have to make as much effort as they can going back towards the box and doing what they did early in this match, spreading the field but then crashing into the middle. Vasquez takes it. He's got Ander on his right, and he taps it over, a little underhand pass over to Ander. The playmaker they'd like to get the ball to, Austin, is Mensa, but uh, Springfield is keeping him in check right now. Certainly would be, and the ref here pausing action, rightfully so on that one. A difficult maneuver for Chicago to have to deal with. Springfield appropriately being penalized for that one. And Chicago, yet again, with another free kick opportunity to see if they can capitalize. And you would have to imagine, partner, with all those bodies on the far side of the pitch that somebody would be crashing towards the near side here. And play dead. The ref says we, uh, not ready yet was the ref. Up in the air, slow moving ball, header, chance, ball loose. Good opportunity for Chicago City, but they can't finish the play. Maintaining the attack up front. 
Continuous pressure right now by Springfield Athletic Sporting Club. Deep in their own territory is Shy City and now near the 40. Played by Chicago. Up front by Cisneros. He dribbles it and then a lead pass to the sideline. Past the 22 meter. Great step over move. Crosser in front, just outside the feet, but Mensa keeps it in. Mensa in front, good crosser, header chance, way too high. That's a double whammy, partner. Goes over the goal, and it didn't even go through the field goal post, so the kick wasn't even good. <laughs> exactly, partner. That was certainly a fantastic set of opportunities there for Chicago to get back out in front of the lead there, but really just nothing doing. You have to give credit to, to A.J. Franklin, the reserve for Chicago City SC, playing in the second half. Those were fantastic opportunities for him. As we now have another sub. Coming in for uh, Shy City as they look to finish this one out with the victory. As they'll go to the bench, it's gonna be Victor Claudel. As Claudel, looking to get something done as a forward off the bench for Chicago City. That beautiful Lions for Hope Sports Complex. We're about eh, two to three miles away from the United Center. This is like hockey and basketball weather tonight. It is a little bit cold. <laughs> But Certainly so. You know, I'm sure all of our English counterparts would be loving this sort of weather, especially for whenever it's outdoor soccer. Yeah, I mean, this is like perfect soccer weather. It's such a cardio-intensive sport. Games like this, where it's not so windy, it's like, you know, 65. It's cool enough to where you don't have to feel too much sweat on you, but right. it's really not cold enough to where you have to wear too many layers underneath. It's definitely still shorts weather soccer because you're going to be running up and down, so you're going to be, you know, sweating. But with the, let's go back to the addition of adding Claudel back onto the attack. Having a fresh body there up front to give them more opportunities to score is going to be massive for Chicago City SC. Corner. And that's a live ball, by the way. Now it's not. I'll let you call it, partner. That's the second time we've seen Villa kiss. A ball that looked like it was going out. He got, gets a piece of it. Remember, he's not that tall. So anytime he gets a piece of it, he has to go to his absolute highest height to knock it down. He knocks the ball back into play, and it allows a shot for Shy City. But if you just let it go, there's a chance it could go off the crossbar too. So darn if you do, darn if you don't, I'll let you call if that was the right thing to do there by Villakis. You know, any time that the goalkeeper has a chance to put their hand on the ball, I would give them credit for that. Just for the fact that they would have the opportunity to redirect it in any different direction that uh, any sort of attacking player would have an ability to get their foot on the, on the ball. It, it really is a, a credit over there to Villakist for being able to get that out of the way of Shy City. He tried to knock it out, but he accidentally knocked it back into play, and Shy City had a chance to finish off with the goal. Out in the corner, as Shy City will set it up in front. Claudel couldn't get it on net. Ball loose. Springfield can't clear it. Out to Shy City. As it's played right now, over to Torellis. And then a pass over to Claudel. Claudel. Trying to do the step over move, but he's double team. Back to Claudel. Left footed kick, very wide, and Villa Kiss wisely lets it go out of play. You can appreciate the opportunity there by Claudel. That was certainly a good look, trying to keep the goalie on his toes away from him on the far right side corner of the net on the near side here, but not quite enough by Claudel, at least in terms of power or accuracy. He almost had it where he wanted it, just not quite enough there. High moving kick. And the ball boys that time let it go out of play. Throw in near the 40 meter. And now it's played by Dylan Banker. He's guarded closely by Phils as Phils has had a slightly quiet game, although in the corner kicks he's been active. Over to Mensa on the right foot. Mensa and his right footed pass back to the 40 meter as the defenders will play it for Shy City. Over the 40 minute marker, now past midfield. Slide it over to the sideline, now played at midfield as Shy City maintains their attack. Good pass and he delivers it over to Claudel, coming off the bench. One timer chance, ball loose, straight up in the air, headed over near the sideline. Mensa off his chest, Mensa with a nice move. In front, crosser, no one home to get it in, shot, goal! 
Cisneros puts his team back on top. The man who has done it all in this match, Julian Cisneros with a fantastic finish there right in the middle of that six yard box. What a beautiful shot for him to finish off his incredible effort thus far in this match. Cisneros, they just kept fighting. Relentless attack by Shy City. First attempt doesn't work. Mensa steals, his, his step over move doesn't work. Crosser pass, it was blocked, partially deflected. Shot in the net, Cisnero finishes, and now Springfield Sporting Athletic Club is gonna have to dig deep to get this tie. And you really also have to give credit to another one of the subs that was put into this match just earlier with Ben Suddeth. He had another great pass right in towards the middle that was able to set up he was more or less in the hockey pass scenario there as a third person to try and get that ball further into the middle. And it's just a credit to these subs here, giving fresh legs on this offense. But Cisneros had a beautiful finish to push Shy City ahead. Offside is... They tried, uh, in Franklin, tried to get that ball, but he was past the defense before the ball came. It's tough refing soccer partner. There's no blue line. So you always got to be watching for that if you're the ref. You really do. An aggressive move on the far side of the pitch there for the Lions. Resulting for Springfield able yeah. to have another throw in here. A lot was happening. You thought there might a be free a free kick. Yeah, I thought it was a free kick. It was a late call. It was definitely a free kick. You will play advantage if you're the ref. Hard to get an advantage when you're near the sideline like that. You'd have to do one of those crazy, you know, stop the ball and then kick it back to yourself. A little ankle breaker style on the defense. And time running out of time. Time running out for Springfield. Left footed kick up in the air and goal kick coming up for Vasquez. Well, we know that Springfield's good on the corners, Austin. What do they have to work on when it comes to 10 on 10 soccer? You know, we saw a great opportunity for Springfield earlier in this match to get that second goal for them. But really overall, the effort that they put in to begin this second half was great. And it was aggressive enough to actually push the defense forward and keep Chicago City on their toes because they had great passing between not only the midfielders, but also the strikers as well. What a move by Mensa. Defender falls down. Mensa tries to set it up in front. And picked up by a Sporting Athletic Club. Now over to Shy City. As it's a give and go play over to Onder. Stolen away. And now here comes Shy City. Left footed kick. Way too high, but the field goal was good. Right through the field goal post. That's right, right through that rugby looking crossbar right there. The old fashioned football crossbar, if you will, this, too. This, this is such an interesting pitch. You know, usually in a soccer pitch, you got the parking lot on both sides of the sideline. There's cars right behind the field goal post. So you could always drop off your son right in front and keep it there parked, but a soccer ball might land in your windshield before the match is over. Well, well riddle me this then, partner. Would you rather have a flying soccer ball from one of these pre-professional players striking it at who knows how many miles an hour, right, let's yeah. say 40, or would you have a baseball just screaming towards your windshield? Ex There's more exit velocity on that baseball, so <laughs> probably the soccer ball. Over to the sideline. What a move. Claudel, he's off the bench tonight. I mean, this is a summer league, so we're going to see players change positions and starters versus coming off the bench. But Claudel, he can do both, starter, come off the bench. He's fantastic. He really has been a super sub thus far. He's, his footwork alone has been amazing to watch to keep it away from some of these Springfield attackers. As well as we see Franklin as well, another reserve player. Oh, boy. Look, they, the, this game has been refed very well, but there's been a couple questionable no calls. But other than that, it's been a very good ref game. Here's the thing, too, is if... If he plays advantage and Shy City gets another 10 meters, you'd rather have the, have the advantage than allowing Springfield Sporting Athletic Club to set up the wall on the free kick. You really would because that's exactly where they've excelled. They've excelled in 
creating those chances right. off the set pieces and not allowing any sort of free movement like we've seen here yeah. when it's, whenever the ball is in touch. Yeah. Not that Chicago City has been bad on free kicks, but they've dominated 10 on 10. I think Springfield's been a little bit better on the corners than Certainly. Chicago, as evidenced by the two goals that Springfield has, has scored. But, uh, yeah, for the free kicks, and that, that comes to the mind when the refs are looking at it, was it, a, was it a clear free kick opportunity where both players playing the ball offside, called by Cladell? And that gives Springfield the ball back. Good news if you're a Shy City fan, it's fairly deep. As Springfield will have to go a full 60 meters to score. This will most likely be the remaining 20 soccer players, not including the goalies, to end this match. As nobody's getting ready on that sideline right now for more subs. Claudel calls for it. Goes after it. He's double teamed. Good help defense on the rotation. Passes it to himself. Good dribbling and then stolen away by Shy City. Alejandre had it briefly and then Springfield stole it, sending it down the pitch into the bread basket that time of Vasquez. As Vasquez fakes the pass, fakes another one, thinking about punting instead underhand style. And for Shy City, Austin, now time of the match. If, you're, if you get into a pressure situation, you can always kick it out of bounds and waste more time. Exactly. Now Shy City has a great opportunity just to sit back and not allowed too much aggression from this Springfield advance. Because as you see right there in just that moment, fantastic interceptions have been some of the biggest parts of this match for the reasons why Chicago City has this 3-2 advantage. Back over to the Lions logo. At Shy City, they want the three points desperately. You don't want to give up opportunities for the win at home. Especially a team that they've handled pretty well over the years. Out in front, crosser. And that's the good thing about those crossers late in the match, partner, is even if it gets stolen, it forces Springfield to regroup deep in their own territory. Exactly. Anything to keep them within their own defense is a big advantage for Chicago, as the refs call that one on the Lions here. And you'd like to see a little bit more sense of urgency. We're not going to see a lot of extra time, so it's now or never for Springfield. And as well, partner, it looks like we have another loose shin guard on the near side here. It seems as though these players still playing aggressive, trying to keep any opportunities alive for more scoring. It's been a beautiful 10 versus 10, 11 versus 11 if you count the goalies. And for Springfield, two corners, but giving up too many goals. Hard to win soccer matches when you give up three. It really is, and it... If there is somehow another late goal for Chicago City SC, it would match two of the same scores that we had last season between these two teams, ending in 4-2, respectively, for Chicago City SC. Mensa calls for it, playing it, and there'll be a free kick coming up for Springfield. Yeah, I can't argue with the ref. It's going to be a yellow card every time. That's the third booking there for Chicago City. I see the third yellow, and that one will go against Mark Torellis. You'd like to see something up the pitch. It would be so important for Springfield to get a 3-3 tie versus coming up short 3-2 with the loss. It really would. And either way, both teams would love to have an outright victory in this match as they have to face off against one of the best teams in all of USL League 2 in Des Moines Menace as they already have six points on the year thus far as they've won their first two matches. So having to compete with them alone will be a tall enough task. So having an outright victory is going to be massive in this opening match for both teams. Kicked over to the 22-meter. As calling forward and receiving is Alejandre. Great move! Woo, that was nice to watch. Delivered by Sandy, the captain. Now over to midfield. El Shabaji had it briefly. Now over to Vasquez. And now it's the time to speed up the tempo if you're Springfield. For Chicago, if you get into problems, you can always kick it out. 
for Springfield. You're trying to avoid throw-ins if you can. Time in favor of Shy City. They have not trailed all day. Only time it was tied 0-0 was the first 30 seconds. PK, they made it 1-0. We've had two ties, 0-0, 2-2. Other than that, it's been all Shy City tonight. It really has, and they've been the more aggressive side overall as they've had great passing to keep them pushing forward as we see one thrown towards the six yard box, but just a little bit too much there. Right, and that's a good decision by Villakis. Something I'd like to see him do a little bit more. Know where the ball's going and let it go out. Read the ball well and uh, try to avoid, you know, knocking the ball back into play if you can. That time he lets it go straight out, but Shy City Still on the attack, and that hurts Springfield. Down one, got to get steals and got to find a way to get it past the 50 consistently. And if you're a Shy City fan, you, you certainly have to be proud of the way that all of these players have come together in less than just a couple weeks as a shot there by Suddeth. Yep. More or less a warning there <laughs> by him. <laughs> More of a warning shot, right. but certainly, yeah. certainly uh, a, a good one nonetheless. That's a good idea. Look. You just want to waste time now. If, if they're about to steal it, might as well get a shot on net. You're inside the 40 meter. Good move, another try. Stolen away by Springfield. They played hard, so, but for Springfield, got to find a way to be better on defense for your next match. Exactly, and if you're a Springfield fan watching this match here, you really do have to be proud of the way that they responded to the Chicago City SC first two goals putting up two of their own, but just yeah. not quite enough to stop that third one yeah. by the Lions. It's, like I said, it's hard to come back from a 2-0 deficit. one nothing off a PK in the first two minutes of soccer. That's got to get into your head a little bit. There's a physical as well as a mental aspect of this game. They gave us great effort. They looked fantastic on the corners. If they can maintain that style of play going forward, that's going to be a tough team to beat, but you got to find other ways to score besides corner, peak, uh, corner kick set pieces. Exactly, and we saw it in the first half with Springfield having some of those sloppy passes. They turn it around here in the second half, being a lot more consistent between each other in the midfield, but Chicago still, nonetheless, in this second half has done a fantastic job of getting in between those passing lanes, intercepting many of these balls. Trying to head it out, ball loose, and... Claudel will move towards the middle. Springfield has to rush, and they do off the throw-in. Slow-moving ball. Claudel looking to steal. He does. Claudel now on the attack. Here comes Claudel off the bench, setting it up in front. Chance for Shy City. Franklin shot save that time by, by Villakis, and now out to the sideline. Almost a chance for Shy City to get that 4-2 score you were talking about early, Austin. That's right. It was almost to be there for, for Franklin, and he uh, just didn't quite finish enough there on the very end, but still, um, I wouldn't say garbage time, but right. closer to end time opportunities for Chicago, still promising moving forward in the early in the season as a Springfield player is down on the far side. This will not affect the extra time. That one stings in the 92nd minute right when the match was about to happen, an injury happens. We'll stick with the action. No subs on the uh, ready to go yet for Springfield. The man hurt is Pharrell Phils. Nope, it's number 18, I'm sorry, Albert Namako. I thought I saw nine. And he is barely moving that knee. He is in a lot of pain. He's trying to get up. And obviously a tough situation. You never want to see a player get hurt, especially late into a match. Going into so many other key matches later in the season, we hope that Namako is okay there as he's done a fantastic job here early in this match. Although he had one of those goals go off of him, the own goal, he still put in a great effort there for Springfield's defense. Free kick. Left-footed one, up in the air, and it was headed away by Shy City at the boundary. Great kick straight up, 
and headed away by Shy City. It's going in the wrong direction if you're a Springfield fan. Going after it, aggressive play by Suddeth. And falling to the pitch that time is Javin Sutherland. So certainly with all the extra time that we've had, you would think, partner, that this would be one of the last opportunities for Springfield to capitalize if they want to split the points here. Left-footed kick, good top spin on it. As Springfield had it briefly, almost near the hands. But the ref says play on. Now up to Sandy. Sandy falls down. Another free kick. Ill-advised play there, partner. If you get beat, he had help over the top. Not the best decision that time by Cisneros. Exactly. A too, too much of an aggressive maneuver there for Cisneros. And that'll give him a yellow there. Yeah, it's not what you want to see there late as that now results in him being having to go off the pitch here as that is his second one of this match. Yeah, just gotta, you gotta, you gotta maintain your head. You gotta maintain your composure. You got the 3-2 lead. You had help over the top. He played a good game, but the refs don't want to hear it. It's zero tolerance policy. He said, let's play on. It's still very hard, unless you're Messi or Ronaldo. It's hard to score off this. Free kick up in the air, and that might be a red card as getting it was the goalkeeper in Vasquez, and he's hurt. Chicago players clearly visibly asking for the athletic trainers to get over there as fast as possible. You hate, you hate to you see You really it. hate to see that for Vasquez. Yes, we're going to look at that a replay in a second here, but you, you can see that it's a free kick from Sandy up in the air, straight up. Was he touched? He was, but it's, if anything, it's not a red because he's trying to head it. If anything, it would be a yellow. And the it's ref all, does award a yellow there yeah, it, against it, Springfield. And I can understand why Clyde Claudel's not happy about not a red being. But when you got to remember, it's a 3-2 game. The only way you're going to score there is off a header. Vasquez knows when I'm going into danger like that, a concussion could happen. So I understand there are, you know, there's some Springfield fans I want the red, and I understand feeling that way, but I, I think they got it right with the yellow card. Agreed, partner. And it's certainly a scary situation whenever you see a player crashing against the goalkeeper for any soccer team, but it looks as though Vasquez is doing better now that he's sitting up, but certainly shaken up after that big play. But as far as it remains, it looks as though the refs are wanting to keep the ball in the 20-yard box for Springfield. At least that's what they were indicating earlier when the players were meeting, although there could be a completely dis different decision here moving yeah, well, forward. You have to think yeah. that with that yellow, it would be a goal kick. Right. Well, when you look at that on, uh, on replay again, is it's clearly, here it is one more time, is he's headed, so it's clearly a foul on, on Springfield, so it should be Chicago City ball. Yellow card was issued. Last one to touch it is the goalkeeper. You would think goal kick. And then for Shy City, do you just do you do you just do a punt up, or do you consider a couple of passes and then kicking it out? Considering the formation that they've gone thus far after this scary situation, it looks like Chicago City will just have to be punting it since they only have one lone man. He can do enough just to be able to handle the ball, but play as conservative as you can to hold on to that lead. But for Springfield, they're going to be doing all that they can to stay in front of every pass. <clears throat> to be able to get any opportunities to equalize late. We wish the best for Vasquez. A lot of bodies flying. It's in one of those weird springs in Chicago where it's like warm all day, and then after 6 o'clock, just all this wind comes out of nowhere, and it goes from 75 to 65. And then, you know, that affects the players a little bit when you were ready for 75 when you were warming up at 6 o'clock. Then it becomes 65. It, it is different, you know, playing soccer in 75 degrees versus 65 degrees. No wind at 6 o'clock. Now there's wind after 6.30. Certainly so. And, it, you know, you like we were mentioning earlier in the game, you have to factor in the wind whenever you're doing your free kicks as well as corners. So especially when the temperature drops like this, you, you always have to be prepared. And it looks like Chicago will go with a backup goalie here to end this, ha this second half and for this match. 
waiting for a number, and uh, it looks like, I thought I saw four. It, it looks like it would 24, Michael Rogalski, left-footed kick, headed over, and Springfield has to keep the ball in play in this last minute of extra time. Claudel with it, let's see what he does. Does he be aggressive or does he kick it out? Claudel, the help comes, and Claudel will kick it out for the goal kick. And it's kicked out. We still have another minute of extra time. That was well played by, by Springfield. Claudel's got to know, look, kick it towards the middle. They're going to trap you on the sideline like that. But Especially in this scenario, when you're trying to waste as much time as possible off the clock, you would have thought that Claudel would have crossed it more, but still a good concerted effort and showing off the foot skills to keep it away from Springfield. As there's a great chance for Franklin. Franklin out in the front, left-footed kick. <laughs> That'll do it! Shy City wins! The slide, the goal, and the finish. A 4-2 victory for Chicago City SC. Well-deserved after all that. It's back to the 4-2 score you were talking about earlier in the broadcast. Is it destiny? I would <laughs> think so at this point. Now the third time between these two teams that the score is 4-2 in favor of Chicago City SC. It's almost fitting now that this is the actual final score line here at Lions for Hope Sports Park. Don't go anywhere. Post-game interviews following the match. Springfield, they gave us great effort as a push off and that'll do it for the match. Chicago City hangs on, they were up two nothing, gave up two goals and they score two more unanswered to win four to two. Partner, what do you think? It was a nice match by Chicago City and besides those corner kicks, Almost a perfect match by Chicago City tonight. Yes, exactly. By all measures of the imagination, you would have to say that Chicago City was the absolutely dominant team here in this match. They really did a great job getting through passes as well as defending against any Springfield attacks on the set pieces. But overall, you have to give credit to their attack for being so aggressive and so speedy to be able to keep Villikis on his toes in the back of that net and certainly a great effort, not only from the starters, but also the reserves as we saw that late goal by A.J. Franklin. So for our excellent crew, for Luke Romano, for Raphael, for, uh, for Austin Wright, I'm Kyle Smith. That does it for our post uh, for our play-by-play -play broadcast, post-game show coming up next here on SBS, the broadcasting network for everyone. is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre- and post-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so I think that's what got us going. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary, a no-hitter at Kane County Stadium. 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, where you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. 
but you don't have to worry about that anymore thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting. We have experience and generate and permanent digital memory or team. Tonight, that time, finally a goal for the Stampede. We have professional videographers using high definition modern day cameras, color analysts, and play by play announcers with state of the art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. Plus, we do pregame and postgame interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the postgame show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith. But my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. Other team slashed me, took the opportunity. Saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense. And Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway, a 2 on 0 A shot, and his goal! So, 3-3. Three to three. The power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics, and we have watermarks. Finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play -play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, we also... Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre- and post-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so I think that's what got us going. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary. A no-hitter at Kane County Stadium. 15 strikeouts. One walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. 
but you don't have to worry about that anymore. Thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. Tonight, that time, finally a goal for the Stampede! We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts, and play-by-play -play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. Plus, we do pre-game and post-game interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the post-game show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith. But my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. Other team slashed me, took the opportunity. Saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense. And Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway at 2-0. A shot, and a goal! So, 3-3. Three three. The power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics, and we have watermarks. Finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play -play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, we also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Livestream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. We broadcast sporting events for people of all ages, including adult leagues, high school leagues, and kids. Complete with professional-looking graphics, broadcasters, color analysis, and commercials. We do pre- and post-game interviews with the players. In addition, Sports Broadcast Solutions does highlight films, including college recruiting reels, highlight films you'd see on sports news programs, and just simply highlight films for fun. Sports Broadcast Solutions also provides raw footage and live streams if you'd like. Subscribe to us and listen to our professional talk videos about relevant topics in the pro and college ranks. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, contact us at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital world. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world.
Welcome to the Post Game Show, brought to you by Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. I'm Kyle Smith, alongside Alex Alejandre and Dylan Banker. Dylan, it was two to nothing, then two to two, then four to two. One of those back and forth soccer affairs. You guys score in the first couple minutes. Looked like you might have like a three nothing, four nothing shutout win. Then it becomes four to two. Pretty exciting soccer, but for your coaching staff, was it a little too exciting. I think so. I think we just kind of took our foot off the gas after the first 30, and uh, we didn't keep the tempo as high as we would have liked. Um, kind of didn't give up the, like, they didn't score from any in-game, like, gameplay goals. It was all set pieces, and something we know we need to work on, and we struggled with last season. So just moving forward, we just need to be tougher on those. What do you need to work on on the corner kicks this season? I think just staying with our man and making sure we're actually we're challenging the ball and protecting our keeper to allow him get up and uh, challenge for things. A 4-2 win. You guys were up 2-0. You guys took it to them those first 45 minutes. What have you guys worked on in practice to constantly have those quick passes, keep the defense on their toes? A lot of possession. Definitely a lot of possession throughout training. That's something Coach Charlie definitely uh, focuses on for his team. You know, we, we're not a team that wants to kick the ball because obviously we have the, the like a crazy amount of talent on the team. So a lot of possession throughout training. That's what allowed us to get successful on quick passes and eventually breaking opponents down and getting them behind. Claudel coming off the bench, he was just simply phenomenal, especially with those in and out moves, step over moves. Have you guys worked on that a lot in practice? It's not just the starters, it's also the guys coming off the bench that are contributing for this team. Uh, that's just an individual talent, you know, that's just something Victor does. That's, you know, you don't you don't really teach that, you know. It's just simply Victor, Victor's a good player and simply anybody who takes players one-on-one, -on -one, that's individuality right there. So once again, you guys didn't give up a goal on normal 10-on-10 -on -10 soccer, only off the set pieces. Vasquez was phenomenal between the pipes. Is it tough for you to score on him in practice? Yeah, definitely. He's a freaking meathead in practice. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's a good keeper, covers a lot of ground, but for sure. Good start to the season. Final thoughts about the win? Uh, I thought it was a good win. We were able to fight through and we went up, but they battled back, and then we just took it to them to finish out the game. So it was good effort from the team and looking forward to the rest of the season. Final thoughts about the win tonight? Excellent. I mean, off to a good start in the season. Just hope to get three more tomorrow, Sunday, and next week against Des Moines, which will be our probably our toughest opponent. And that does it for our post-game show. So for our excellent crew, Austin Wright, Rafael, Luke Romano, I'm Kyle Smith signing off, and we'll see you next time on SBS.